Oh my goodness, my friends. So one of the things that we are trying to, that we are trying to do right now is not just, um, not just minimalize the house, but if something comes in, try to put double the amount going out. I just did a huge book haul and we counted out 37 books. And so now I need to try to get 75, but I'm, I'm rounding it to the nearest. Our goal is to get 75 books out. So because of that, I have a couple of stacks here. I'm actually trying to go to the post office. So yeah, I was like, I need to film this for everybody, especially those that are trying to follow our minimalist journey and kind of the ways that we're trying to tackle this and keep it manageable and um, just books that are going out. So I guess it would be like an unhaul here. It's That wasn't the intention. It was really just to kind of see how many books are going out um, so that we're on top of this and not just kind of filling up our house because as it is, I have stacks of books everywhere and not really any shelf space for it. <sighs> Hashtag my real life. So the first thing is I have two books here I'm gonna to send to a friend of mine. I have two copies of The Quiet Little Woman and this one is Hudson Taylor's Spiritual Journey. Um, pretty much it was what I already read, but I think they will enjoy it. So there's those two going out. I shipped a package yesterday and that took care of six books and a lot of it is just kind of cleaning off my, um, uh, cleaning out my homeschool shelves, my, my, sh my other shelves and just kind of see. I'm gonna share what's in this one. Um, I have had these David McCulley books on my shelves forever, really thinking that um, the kids would really enjoy them and we should just sit and do these and whatnot. Um, the library has them, and if I decide that to just pull it out and do it again, I will. I keep purchasing them, and we're just not using them, and I keep thinking, oh, we really should, so I keep putting them back on my um, shelves, but they're just, they're not going to be ones that... Um, we end up keeping I think this one mill is actually the one the only one my son was really interested in so I have that I have kite fighters I really liked this one I just don't see my kids um, reading it and if they choose to I'll pick it up at the library again I have three of these like childhood of famous Americans Clara Barton Buffalo Bill and Danny Boone we finished these we're done with these. I have a few more that we're reading through and then I'll probably just pass them on. And then the story of inventions because honestly, um, we didn't enjoy this one. So took care of that. And so these are going to go to a new home. And I really think that the home this is going to, the, fam the girl that I chose these for, I really think she's going to enjoy them based on what I know of her. Now that my son is out, I also have these books here that uh, I sold on Instagram. Oh my goodness. Check it out. And some of these I'm just like, you know what, we're done with. Um, I actually had two copies of this one, Adam and His Kin. Really good kind of retelling of uh, Genesis. And it's by Ruth Beatrix, which, um, not really the founder, but she was um, really prevalent in the modern homeschooling um, group, I don't know, world. Uh, she did a lot of like Dorothy Sayers inspired classic education. So, and then we have two weather books here. These are uh, really good for hands-on science. And just honestly, I have so much of this kind of thing. I just was like, let's just weed out ones and keep ones that we can more grow with. So there's that. This one is a really good it's Boston Tea Party. Um, but this one's really fun. Lives of the Artist. Again, just books that we're done with, we've read and done. This one I really like. This is Colonial Voices. If you can find this one um, at your library, this is a really good one. This is a childhood favorite of mine, but not so much my kids. That one is Betsy Ross. I really love the story. It actually um, really inspired us on uh, September 11th. We actually made our own flags. We wanted them made in the US. And um, it was kind of fun to sit there and sew and pretend I was Betsy Ross. 
Um, Robert Louis Stevenson by Simply Charlotte Mason. Again, we're just done with. Another one that if you can find at your library, this is really good. This is America's Paul Revere, Paul Revere by Esther Forbes. And I've read it enough with the kids that I think by the time my fourth kid comes, um, he has had read he has read some of it, but there's just there is a lot of them. I think I will end up doing um, Revere Indian is what it's called, and it's the horse of Paul Revere, kind of his Paul Revere story told to the eyes of the horse. So that'll kind of give me a little bit of a you know different aspect. And then we have Oh, stink. I thought, I thought this was my ancient, I need to ask my friend. This is actually the modern times. Whoops, and I actually did know that and I forgot because I bought this thinking it was the ancient times and it's like pictures from the modern times and it's simply Charlotte Mason. We actually never got to this because again, I got the wrong one. I thought I was getting, um, this is the Berlin Wall. Um, this is the Berlin Wall. I thought I was getting Ancient Times and I got the wrong one. But yeah, so. Landing of the Moon. Artifacts. Like the quality of this is really nice and really good. Then I have a bag here that I'm saving to take to my um, used bookstore. I have Where the Wild Things Are. Um, I don't like this book. So I think I read it once with my, my son and then it kind of is slipping in here. I have Rifka Sings, Littles Take a Trip. This is an extra copy, Color of My Words. Um, weather and illustrated history and this is kind of very it's kind of the history of science but it's very dry and it's very disconnected so I'm just, we're done um, so One Step from Heaven by Anna Meh. I, I think I'm just gonna show I think I'm just gonna show the books and honestly a lot of it is just they're ones I really just don't want to keep on the shelf so I have um, what is a presidential election? Clementine's letter. We actually have the whole series of these, and I think this bookstore that I'm gonna take it to has the rest of them. I have three magic attic books, hidden figures. You keeping track for me. Mm -hmm. Um, The Girl You Left Behind by Jojo Moyes, a Romanoff fantasy, and I actually might hold on to this one until I have all of my Romanoffs nonfiction stack, um, just so that if somebody's looking for that, they have the whole stack there. also have I thought I was gonna like this book um, by Stephanie Meyer I really didn't want to try but I have no interest whatsoever in the Twilight series and I've heard that the grammar in those is terrible and I know that's something that will bug me and then I heard about this one the chemist and I was like oh this sounds like something I would be interested in and then I heard a couple of reviews on it and I'm like no this is not my cup of tea and I did actually kind of go through it and browse through it and look at it and I'm like no I really have no interest whatsoever in this um, it was free because I brought a lot of books to my um, local used bookstore and so I just kind of basically exchanged those books for this one and it could go back and then the yellow bird sings I just don't see myself ever reading that one again so we're at 33 books we brought in 37 I mean I just want to kind of document that so Thank you for watching this part of the segment and we'll see what other doing anything for us and just keep the books that we love on the shelves. That's the whole point of the minimalism is get rid, get rid of the things that, uh, what is, what, how did William put it? Things that don't inspire beauty or find necessary and keep what is the things that we love. So, and honestly, the fewer things that you love, like the more you're gonna treasure them and enjoy them. And that's the whole purpose here. Okay, let's see what we come up with. Okay, we are going to wrap up this unhaul video. I just have a few more books that I pulled from my shelves and then I'll be done. I left, the number of books needed was like 39, 
but and I know we didn't make it but again this is just books that we're done with and we can they can go I have falling free which you saw when I organized my shelves understanding a Waldorf education I decided this just was not something I needed they lost their heads just fun facts front desk this is a book that I read for read your shelves um, challenge by Chantal this is my January read which had something to do with home we both read a desk book and then this is um, recommended for Ambleside Online 50 Famous Stories Retold um, and to be honest like none of us really they can go <laughs> um, the one that I have is the bookstore the littlest Bigfoot Priscilla and Aquila. Aquila? Aquila. Whatever. The Things That She's Seen. The first and second book of the Water Fire Saga. 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 Pretty covers, but I'm not going to read them. Hummingbird Heart. We already talked about that one. That one. Uh, Tumbling. Grace, Gold, and Glory. And steps to success in watercolor. I thought this would be a helpful one. It's not very helpful in my opinion, so that's why it's going. So, all right. So that gives us another. That gave us another fifteen Ooh. books. Not again. Not thirty nine. But hey, we almost made it halfway there. So we're gonna close out this unhaul. And I hope this encouraged you, especially if you're trying to live a more minimalist life, especially today when we were like rearranging the house and we're like, oh, let's try to get rid of books. And, um, we, I don't know. I think we only added like two books to the stack. Oh, you know what? We have mm. other ones we got rid of. Okay. We pulled out some board books that, um, Johnny, you want to come say hi? that Johnny is done with, and then there's some kids in our church that could use them. So actually, we did get rid of um, some more. Some of them are like, they mean a lot to me, but they are not even mine, they're my daughter's, and she wanted the little babies at church to get them. So we have a good number more. Hey Johnny, can you go see if Daddy needs your help with anything? Okay. Daddy, do you need my help for Hey, before he gets back, this one goes. Daddy, do you need my help with anything? <laughs> we don't want him knowing. <laughs> um, we have The Mitten by Jan Brett. Great book, but the kids don't choose that one. Migrant. Also, great book. Kids just don't choose it. Ugly Duckling. One of my favorites. And then four cozy classics Great Expectations, Jane Eyre. Pride and Prejudice and Moby Dick. Why I love these, they take the classics and then they actually made these felt, they made these felt scenes. So this is Pride and Prejudice. And they're just one-liners with these felt scenes and they're amazing. Moby just, Dick. Oh, I'm going backwards. These were, these were yours and Catherine's favorite. Yeah. Jade Eyre. Out there. So, anyway, so that gave us what four, seven, eight more books that we got rid None of. So, all. yeah, the one four, that we're hiding. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, uh. I counted it. I thought I counted um, it so eight, oh, 15 plus eight, it is 23. <laughs> don't put that in there. Don't <laughs> You're I like, remember. I don't remember. What is it, Mom? <laughs> 23. So, 23 books that we're going out, and we are closing this out. So, that is. Uh, 39 minus 23. How's that one for you? 39 minus 23. Seven more. 17. Oh, yeah. So, if we had met the goal, we would have found 17 more. But honestly, like, even just arranging all our shelves, all of them we wanted to keep. So, what are you doing? Well, we have a lot. A lot, a lot. Here. But they're also good. Yeah, out, I know most of these ones I will most likely keep. Uh, just... Some of these aren't even yours. Yeah. Some of the classics. Of anyway, this is so. an unhaul. We are not unhauling those. So thank you so much for watching.
Bye. You gonna say bye? Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. 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 bye.